and consistently good and it's reliable. It's like talking to a friend and you're going shopping with a friend and you're like, oh, I want one of these. And then sometimes I'll say, whoa, but have you seen this? I ended up buying more than what I called in for, but it's a win anyway. <laughs> Fresh take on timeless classics. For all women, simple, easy, elegance. Let's get it, let's get it! Style that works today, every day. Vanessa Williams on HSN. Well, I am glad that you are shopping with us here at HSN. My name is Tamara Hooks, and we are going to be talking to all of the coin collectors out there who are watching for the next two hours. We've got some really great um, items that we're going to feature for you. We've got some first day of issue. We've got a lot of brand new. And I'm not doing it alone, obviously. Our expert, Mike Mizak, is joining us for two hours. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hey, Tamara. How you doing? <laughs> we are being responsible. We're practicing social distancing. But the, the, um, the show goes on, and mm -hmm. we've got some really great things for you. We're actually going to start off with the 2020 limited edition shark, uh, Tiger Shark $2 silver coin. That is so cool. It, it is, and I, and, and I want to kind of start this with the whole thing with kind of what's going on, in, in essence, in the world of coins with what's going on in, in the world today. <clears throat> I've been doing this for a very very, very long time. I have never seen a demand for physical gold and silver like I'm seeing right now. Premiums for American gold eagles, silver eagles, it doesn't matter where it's from, which silver coin are at all time highs. They've never seen anything like it. Coins, so a lot of these coins we only have, they're absolutely irreplaceable for us right now, only because we had them right. from three weeks ago, four weeks ago, six yeah. weeks ago, eight weeks ago, like this coin. This coin was first made at the beginning of the year. This is actually, and I wanna pull this out, it's an actual coin. Wow. See that? Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. It is one ounce pure silver, as you can see. It is the Tiger Shark coin. There's Queen Elizabeth on it. Each coin is individually numbered. This is actually coin number two on the coin itself. There's only 2,500 of these that were made. We started with the Hammerhead coin in 2020. <clears throat> this is now the Tiger Shark coin that you see right here. Uh, they, they debuted this Hunters of the Deep, as you can see right here in 2019 with the Great White which is completely sold out. They're all sold out from the mint. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're all sold out from the mint. I have, if you go to hsn.com, I've got a very few of the hammerhead coins left. Now remember, this is an ounce of pure silver, but it is actually a coin. That's the thing I think that's truly amazing, only 2,500 mm -hmm. in the limited edition. And like I said, they're gonna kinda, kinda do all the, all the, uh, uh, Sharks that are out there as best you can. As you can see, pure silver, one ounce, weight, uh, only 2,500 pieces ever to be done. It comes in this beautiful, uh, uh, this beautiful presentation package as well, as you can see where it says uh, Hunters of the Deep, and you open it up, and that's the actual coin itself and the holder and everything in the exact shape of the shark. So I think it's, uh, I think it's truly spectacular. I've got a very, very limited quantity of these available. The Great White from last year sold out. I've got a very few of the first edition from this year, which is the uh, Hammerhead Shark, which you can go to hsn.com to get. And then, of course, we are debuting now the new Tiger Shark coin that we have. And if you'll notice, and, and as, I, as I let off, I mean, silver and gold are the, the demand for physical gold and silver of something I've never seen. This is the same exact price I had when we launched this. So, I mean, we've not gone up on the price, right. even though, uh, like I said, demand premiums for gold and silver coins are, are things that I've, I've never seen. I mean, I mean, at rates I've never seen. And, yeah, and that demand <clears> will probably continue to go up we we don't know what the we don't know holds. because there are no there's no physical gold and silver in the marketplace wow. it's all gone 
Oh my goodness. All of them. So if you want it, 90% silver, 40% silver, yeah. silver dollars, silver eagles. 2020 silver eagles sold out from the U.S. Mint. They have no idea when they're going to restock them. Oh they're goodness. gone. Wow. Okay, so you can see we're starting off here. $2 silver coin. Um, and again, that's one um, that maybe you're starting the collection of that. We're going to show you the hammerhead. We still have like a handful of those available on hsn.com. Mm -hmm. But if you want the tiger shark coin, we've got it for you right now. You've got it on flex. You've got it at 706-459. That's the number to get that home. And we wanted to start off with that, something unique for you. But I wanted to show you um, the hammerhead that we have for you. It's very limited as well. Here's the item number. It's 701 822 and it's the same price as the tiger shark so 119.95 if you want to get that collection up and going i then there's no time like the present you can call us or you can shop on hsn.com if you prefer all right, we have a showstopper for you. So normally when we have a showstopper, we kind of, it's like middle in the middle of the show. Mike said, no, no, we should do it early <laughs> because this is the one I know you're gonna love. This is, this is a special coin. This is an extraordinarily special coin. And when you look at this coin, I've sold Silver Eagles here for, for many, many, many years. When you look at this coin, you can tell that this coin is different. Mm -hmm. This is not a proof silver eagle. This is a mint state American silver eagle from 1990. And if you'll notice the grade, it says mint state 69, which is relatively regular common grade. But look at the thing that comes after that. It's a star. Mm -hmm. NGC has been using the star designation on coins for almost 20 years now. This star designation, which is uh, denotes an incredibly special eye appeal, that the coin is special, it is different. Um, the next thing up from the star is what's called a PL. And in American Silver Eagles, PLs are almost impossible. The, the, about the lowest price that you can get on a PL is probably five or $6,000, somewhere right in there. Wow. So this is a 1990 Min State 69 star. I, 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 as I was doing the research on this, when this was offered to me and we bought, bought uh, you know, the handful that were available, I started looking at this and I've been doing this my entire adult life. I know coins as well as anybody. Mm -hmm. And I, I know the stars, but I had no idea how actually rare they were. In Mint State American Silver Eagles, that you see right here, by NGC, and they have graded millions and millions and millions and millions of coins. With the star designation, which starts at Mint State 69, there are a sum total of 454 star NGC coins, not in this date, in existence in all years wow. of the American Mint State Silver Eagle. 454 star designation coins uh, that you see, Mint State 69 star, from 1986 all the way through 2020, there are less than 500 in existence. The wow. majority of them are the 1990s that I have right here. They came from a single box a single box that had to be the very first box that was made by the United States government. One exceptional, one time, once in 30 year run by the United States government. And this is the vast majority of all the star coins that are in existence, period. And I have got a few of these available. I have never, so I've been here for well, going on 20 years. Yeah. I have never sold an NGC Star American Silver Eagle before because they didn't exist. Like I said, there's 454, not 1990s. I mean for every single Mint State Silver Eagle in the history of the United States Mint from 1986, almost a billion coins, there are 454 that have got the star designation. There is one slightly better designation, which is called a PL or proof-like. Okay. Okay, that has a very specific designation. Those coins start at three or four thousand dollars and go up into the twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar range. In all honesty, the star is almost as rare as the PLs. There's only 153 PLs. 
Wow. In, the, in, in all. So there's 153 PLs. There's 454 stars. That's it. Every one of the other million plus Silver Eagles that have been graded by NGC are just Min State 69 or Min State 70. A Min State 69 star is actually far rarer than the Min State 70 coin. Far rarer than the Min State 70 coin that you're going to see uh, out there in the marketplace. This is a one time only opportunity because, like I said, there's only 400 54 in existence. Yeah. Right. I paid a monstrous premium <laughs> to get a coin that in essence I have never even seen before. Wow. I have never had the opportunity to sell a star American Silver Eagle and it happens to be from 1990. Mm -hmm. So I mean it's a it's a coin that's already 25 years old which is or 30 years old sorry uh, uh, that's 30 years old and they're the only ones that was it was that one box Okay, that got that somehow meets this designation. And if you've seen all the silver eagles that we sell here, you can look at this coin and know that it is 100% different. It is 100% special. You can tell it looks like a proof coin, but it is not. This is a mint state American silver eagle. It has got a look, it has got a feel. When they opened the box up, they took one look at it and said, this is different. And from what they said, when they opened up the box, the tops on those, uh, rolls in there usually have a green top yeah. they didn't so they must have been playing with a press or doing something multiply pressed them they had to do something absolutely positively unique in the history of the American Silver Eagle for them to be able to come up with this one single solitary box of 500 coins yeah. and not all of them got stars or, or 69s or, or, or PLs or any of that so that there are only 454 in existence and they grade every single coin you, you send in is available for a star designation designation. Any coin dealer can look at a coin and say, hey, this is special. This should be a PL. This should be a star designation. But out of all those coins, the million American Silver Eagles plus uh, that have been certified by NGC, there are 454 that have got the star designation. I have never sold them before. I anticipate never selling them again. These could end up literally, quite literally being the only ones in existence ever in the history of the United States particularly given the fact that they are changing the design of the American Silver Eagle, remember in 2021, mm -hmm. that is creating this incredible uh, run on this. So now you've got rarity at, is quite literally at an unprecedented level. Unbelievable. Again, you think about rarity, talk about rarity, and you can see it. And maybe as you're looking at this, you're saying, I've never seen and had the opportunity to own uh, a Min State 69 star. Maybe you <laughs> haven't. Uh, maybe it's something that it has been elusive. We've got them. We'll send them straight to you. You, just you haven't. Nobody has. Right. They just ha they, they, they simply ha haven't existed. It is such an incredibly <laughs> special designation. So when we talk about rarity, we're talking about conditional rarity. And that star means everything. So if you look through all the grading things from uh, NGC, you will occasionally find stars. You're just simply not going to find the stars for $5.99. I think if you see any of the stars or the PLs out there, they're starting at thousands of dollars. So that's what this opportunity is that I absolutely love with this. The fact that they are so phenomenally rare and I have them at, for that rarity and that old of a coin, a 30-year-old American Silver Eagle with the incredible star designation that you see right there. That, this is, I've been here almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. This is literally a once in 20 year deal I that guess. I'm able to offer. I have, I bought a tremendous quantity. I think I ended up with 100 coins or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and we paid immediate and, and paid up. I had to give everybody the opportunity to own this coin. Yeah, that's right. I had to give everybody the opportunity to own this coin because unlike anything that I have ever seen in the history of this show, anything, unlike anything that I have ever had the opportunity to sell, and I would love to say, you go out there and you find this price, there's no prices. Yeah. But they're, they're in essence unique coins. If you go out there and look like for instance, they, uh, uh, the, the 2019S, Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle, the government only made 30,000 of them. Those 30,000 coins in, in Mint State 69, not even, there are 3,000, 4,000, 5. This coin, there's 454 total stars. Oh in the Mint State, uh, in the 1990s, there's even less. 
Okay, all the Min State, uh, all the 1990 MS 69 starts came out of a single box, mm -hmm. one time, one grade, one opportunity, that's it. All the other ones out there, there's a handful here, a handful there. I have never had the opportunity to not only sell these, I have not even seen them before I saw this batch. Mm -hmm. So I have wow. graded with NGC, what have I graded? I don't know. <laughs> 300,000 American silver because I've never gotten a star designation, never. I had to buy these on the secondary market. I've never gotten a star designation in all of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of silver eagles that I've ever graded with NGC. I've never gotten a star designation. It was a one-time opportunity. And when you look at this, you see that mirror finish, that, that basically proof-like finish that you're going to see, that exceptional eye appeal that is what the star designates right there. That's not a thing that's unique to me. Anybody, so it's not like, okay, I, I got the thing where I'm the only one that can get a star on a coin. No, it's not that. Any coin that gets sent into NGC is eligible for a star designation. It's not just for me or anybody else. It's just a one-time only opportunity. This one batch of coins, over a billion coins, over a 35-year span, this one special thing. They, like I said, they had to be playing with the press. I don't know what they were doing, but you have a one-time literal opportunity opportunity to own a Min State 69 star that we've never been able to offer before and I can pretty confidently say yeah. we'll not be able to offer again in the star designation because not just 1990 but from 1986 to 2020 there are 454 NGC star American silver eagles that's it that it makes it by far the rarest designation right. it's not even close out there there's nothing else that even vaguely even vaguely comes close to this I, I mean I really have to impress upon you how important this opportunity is because it is not going to come back. Once I sell this quantity that I have, which yes. I felt was very strong. I mean, I had like, I think it was 100 coins or so. Right. Uh, once I sell that through, which is likely to happen here, here tonight, yes. I mean, everybody knows how special this is. I will never, I haven't had the opportunity to sell a star NGC American Silver Eagle in the prior 20 years. <laughs> I don't suspect, I'm, and I won't be here 20 years from now doing this. So, <laughs> you you know, never know. No matter what, no, 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 I know, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> I will not be here 20 years from now doing this. Uh, uh, so this is quite likely, once again, one of those once in a lifetime opportunities for not only for me to offer this coin for you, but for you to be able to buy this coin too. So it's not only that it's a 25 or 30 year old coin, but this designation, this special star designation, like I said, go out there, try to find anything. And they just simply don't exist. The only grade higher than this is like I said, a PL and they right. start at about three, four, five, six thousand dollars and go My well goodness. up from there. That's it right. is just this tremendous, amazing opportunity That's for right. you to own. And what is almost a unique coin, literally by conditional rarity, one of the rarest silver eagles ever made by the United United States government. It happens to be 30 years old. It happens to be this one-time special badge. It is, could quite be one of the most unique coins I've ever sold here at HSN in all the years I've been here. And in our two-hour show, we wanted to start the show with this. So we'll remind you as we move throughout the two hours, but here's the item number. Go ahead and write it down. It's 714682. And I don't want you to miss out on something that is so rare. Now, I wanted to show you these because these are coming up. It's the complete federal Reserve 1976 bicentennial $2 bill collection. And we do have that one coming up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little cold in the studio. Yeah. A little bit later on in the hour. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you know, I, like it. I like to keep it cold. <laughs> <laughs> I should have worn a, a turtleneck. Um, uh, but that one is coming up, and we'll give you all the details on that. And for all the $2 collectors and lovers, and I am one of those, I am really excited to see that. But that's coming up, and just to give you an idea of the variety that we've got in this show, in these two hours. All right, let's move on to the 18th. 88. No, that's not correct. That's not, oh, that's right. We're we, what we're looking at here is the 2020 Proof 70 uh, early releases from NGC, the Silver Eagle dollar coin. Mm -hmm. The United States Mint, look, everybody knows what, what's going on, obviously, with, with you know, the, the COVID-19 and all. And given the federal directives from, from the federal government, from the president and everything else, is there is... In, in other words, to you know, kind of ensure the safety of Mint employees, mm -hmm. they have in essence shut down the U.S. Mint. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, they just announced we had a we had a big a big slate of coins that were to be released. I mean, I was supposed to be here today selling the our special release coins from the basketball commemoratives. Those have been mm -hmm. delayed for we don't even know. Everything's to be determined. The United States Mint, in essence, between now and the end of April, is in essence releasing no coins. Right. As a matter of fact, the coins that they do have are being shipped by what amounts to a skeleton uh, crew uh, because it's a third party vendor uh, that, that absolutely that ships these. So to be able to have coins that are live, in other words, being able to ship, you have to have had coins from, from two or three or four weeks ago. It's the only way to have coins, right. all right? This is one of those things, okay? This is, this is one of those coins. This is a coin that we had, okay? okay? This is a coin that was uh, uh, available, uh, that, that we had in stock. And so I have a very few of these. So let me talk about this. So the 2020 American Silver Eagle, which is a huge deal, because what the United States government announced in uh, um, November of last year is they announced that they were changing the design of the American Silver Eagle. So in other words, after 35 years, this will no longer be the reverse of the American Silver Eagle. They have a new design. We don't know what it is. That oh. is also now up in the air. Who knows when that's going to happen? But we know that it will change in 2021. So this is the end of an era. So after 35 contiguous years of this being the design of the American Silver Eagle, this is it. It's done, gone, and over. So from a collectible standpoint, it has been massively collected before all of the events of, of today. Right. Now, given the fact that the United States Mint has, in essence, ceased production, in essence, I, I think they may be trying to make a few coins. I have no idea. It's, in essence, uh, uh, somewhat of a secret. But they are not releasing any coins other than what's already been made. They are shipping coins incredibly slowly. Uh, they're, uh, you know, everything's is, are all trickling to sell out, is what it comes down to as these coins trickle and, and come out there. I don't think that they're going to resume a regular schedule until maybe May or even June, even if they can do that. <clears throat> so to get coins that are actually available to ship, and this is an early release coin. So what an early release coin means is it was released in the first 30 days, okay? And it was uh, uh, put out within the first 30 days and it was at NGC within the first 30 days. Additionally to this, this is our exclusive core. So when you have this coin, so here's a 2020 last year of issue, proof American Silver Eagle, as you can see right here, ultra cameo, early release, and then it is our exclusive designation of what's called flag core. So when you have this flag core designation that you have here, you know that's absolutely positively unique to us here. So this is the regular proof American Silver Eagle, which the United States government raised the price on pretty substantially this year. And I have got it absolutely perfect, in stock, ready to go, early release, $239.95. I can tell you the United States Mint is horribly behind on everything. They're out of 2020 Mint State American Silver Eagles. Completely and totally out. They have no idea when they're going to be uh, have them ever again. Mm -hmm. uh, the premiums, in other words, uh, the premium on a Silver Eagle is the silver value plus what is extra on top of that for making the coin and selling the coin. I have never seen premiums. Premiums are 500% higher than what they were 45 days ago. The premium. Wow. Okay. The premium on these coins have gone to things. Silver dropped a little bit. Okay. And, and it's a very complicated kind of thing. What's happened when the stock market did what it did, people had margin calls and they have to make margin calls with, mm -hmm. with things like gold and silver. Mm -hmm. So they dumped a lot of gold and silver into the marketplace, but it got snapped up immediately. And so these premiums. So now, even though silver's a little lower, American Silver Eagles sell for significantly more when they did when silver was $5 an ounce higher. 
So that's what happened. You simply can not find. I had people call me and say, we know you have Silver Eagles. What do you want? I said, I can't sell them. We have shows coming up. They go, no, you don't understand. Okay. Yeah. And they're offering me numbers like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. And I said, no, oh, we have shows. And so we did not get rid of any of our Silver Eagles. Okay. We held firm, even though uh, some of the numbers being bandied around out there are insane and it's going to get worse. As we saw last week, silver rebounded pretty substantially. It was up uh, about 15% last week. I anticipate that to continue to go up. Like I said, I'm not clairvoyant, I don't know. But when you look at all those factors and the fact that there is what we call no physical silver, so there's no silver eagles from any of the distributors. I have a friend of mine who owns a little shop in, in, in Texas. He said, I sold more gold and silver uh, two weeks ago Friday than I sold in the last eight months in one day. Oh my goodness. He says, I'm out. Yeah. I mean, that's his business. He, yeah. he sells gold and silver. He says, I'm out. I have nothing to sell and I have nothing to buy. Nothing and so everybody's calling everybody. Well, I have got coins and I've got them in stock. They are ready to ship. I have got these ready to go. So not only do I have American Silver Eagles, proof Silver Eagles, I have them in my exclusive uh, uh, flag core, which of course you can't get anyplace else. I have them certified absolutely proof 70 perfect. I've got them early release. And then on top of this, not only are Silver Eagles and 90% silver and even even 40% silver. I'm going to next hour we start with 40% silver Kennedys. Get those now because they're mm -hmm. irreplaceable. They are gone everywhere else in the marketplace. But I've got the 2020 coins, which are bringing an even larger premium okay. because it's the last year of issue. Year of the issue. United States government has decided, okay, after 35 years of American silver eels looking like this, they're no longer going to look like this. So it's going to be a special designation and a special collectible opportunity in its own right to be able to get that but now I've got them certified perfect I've got them in our exclusive flag core so I can guarantee uh, uh, you know the rarity of this I've got them early release as well so these are coins that have been sitting there which is of course the only reason I have them in any way shape or form uh, uh, the cost on these things in the marketplace are floating uh, much higher uh, as it is so you know we are at the uh, at the mercy of the market to some degree like, for instance, uh, we're, we're going to be coming up on a mint state. If I were to go out there, because the mint, I don't know that you can, they say they're available, but the ship times on these could be a month. Right. Six weeks, yes. eight weeks, who knows? Yes. Who knows when, when you're actually going to get shipped on this. Mm -hmm. So for live American Silver Eagles, if I had to buy live proof American Silver Eagles, I'd have to be at least $299 on these. That's right. They simply don't exist. And when they do, they bring monstrous premiums in the marketplace. I'm able to bring you these at what amounts to my original uh, issue price, but only for the quantities in stock. First of all, they had to be from the first 30 days. And of course, it's, you know, we're three months into the year, so these right. were released early. So I've literally had these sitting there for two months is the only way that I can do this. And then we give you an absolutely perfect coin in the very last year of release, okay? Mm -hmm. And we've right. got Proof 70, we've got Flag Core, we've got all all these additional designators of value and then go try to find coins in the marketplace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go try to find coins in the marketplace today in any way, shape or form, whether it be, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care what, what coin you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If it's an American silver Eagle and it's a 2020 American silver Eagle, yes. good luck. Good luck. Good luck finding live coins. Do not fall into the trap. Right. Well, the fact that we've got it here now and we'll send it to you and, and it's not at some strange extended, you know, ship date. You order it today. We ship it. That's what it is. So you're not waiting any longer than you have to to go ahead and get these. So if you're getting one, if you're getting a few, whatever it is, whatever your number is, this is the place to get it. You call us or you can shop on hsn.com. It's your choice. Whatever you feel most comfortable. Let us know how many you want. <laughs> we'll send them to you until they're gone. And that's the thing because they will be, there is not an unlimited Absolutely. supply anywhere. Well, and they're irreplaceable to me right that's now, right. particularly in early release. I mean, let's say I go out there and I could find coins 
that were live, and what we call live coins are coins that are in someone's possession, okay. as opposed to like a futures contract, if okay. you will. So if I go out there and find live coins, live proof American silver eagles, don't confuse these with the mint state American silver eagles, but if I went out there and found live silver eagles, 2020s, out there in the marketplace, now I can still technically order them from the government, but I've heard six to eight week delivery times, that doesn't do us any good when what? I have to ship these to you tomorrow. That's okay, right. <laughs> you know, uh, it is ultimately what it comes, and that's like, do they deliver them? If they will, they deliver. What what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. When's the mint going to open back up? We don't know any of those things at this point. I just heard, as a matter of fact, the new federal guidelines are to maintain social distancing till April 30th now. Okay. That was That's just released within about the last hour or so. That's another month. That's another month. Yes. Uh, now, they may bring back some of the Mint employees. I don't know uh, what they're doing, but that's going to, I think, be also for the shipping. And so they've, they've put off everything that was going to be released this month has all been pushed. They have not even put dates on it. It's it's TBD. You know what's interesting with with all of this because it's unprecedented, something that we have not experienced in our lifetime, um, is that in that situation there are with the mint. You don't know when they're coming back. You don't know when they can ship. You know what has maintained consistency? HSN. Mm -hmm. We've maintained consistency. Mike is still here. He's still uh, educating us, bringing us what you can't get anywhere else. We're still shipping. You order it, we ship it. We've got it in stock. That's the difference. And we'll do that as long as we possibly can, but we can still do that today. And so if you're shopping for this or for our showstopper or for anything that you're seeing, just know that you order it today. We're not going to send you an email that says, oh, sorry, you can expect this in October. No, we're not going to do that. You order it today. I ordered some online the other day, and yeah. it was like, uh, what, what did they say? It was uh, uh, June 15th. I'm going, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to need that on June 15th. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that order. Yeah. And well, let's wait till we get something within a, 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 a horizon that I can actually see. <laughs> That's right. Uh, is ultimately what it comes down to. And I understand, I understand the times are different. Mm -hmm. Things are different. But like I said, for the coin show, for right now, yeah. for tonight... Okay, yes. for this for instant, this for this point in time, <laughs> yeah. things are just as they were. Yeah. You can purchase this, and we will get this shipped out to you right away because we have these coins in stock. After this, there is nothing, uh, every, anything's possible. That's right. After this. I mean, I don't know what happens when we, I mean, you know, with the new coins coming out from the Mint, what happens when we run out of coins? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, because the, the Mint has slow shipped everything. I mean, things that we normally, that we have ordered two weeks ago that we would normally have in two or three days, we, we don't even have a possible ship date on them right. uh, at this point. So I have no idea when this is. But remember, last year of issue, absolutely perfect, exclusive flag core, uh, early release, all of those things make this a must buy and get it now. Who knows what's going to happen in the marketplace? I've got these coins available, ready to ship. Put them in your collection now. I'm telling you right now, silver and gold, the place to be. This is it. Give us a call. Here's the item number. It's 708 839. That's the number to get this home. You've got it um, at our price of $239.95. If you want to use FlexPay, you can. Completely up to you, but you order it today and we will ship it out to you immediately. I wanted to remind you too of our showstopper because it is now half gone. Oh my. I know. I mean, and this, <laughs> if you are kind of on the fence, maybe you wrote the item number down and you're just going to think about it a little while. You're going to watch the show. Uh, here we go. <laughs> well, Half gone. Yeah, well, and let me, in, in 30 seconds, can I get 30 seconds here? I, I want to explain this to you. The star, see where it says Mint State 69 star, that little star there? That's a special designation done by NGC to denote special eye appeal. In the history of the NGC Numismatic Grading Corporation, there are 454 star mint state silver eagles in existence, not in the 1990s, in existence from 1986 until 2020. There are 454 in existence. It is by far not even close. Their rarest designation. I bought basically half of them that exist that we were able to get for this, of all the coins in existence, and we've now sold half, half of my of, half. Half of your half. Half of my half. So now so. there's only half of that half. Yeah. And uh, it's as it's we as special you, a coin mm -hmm. as we've ever, we have, we've ever been able to uh, offer. And here it is. Here's the item number again. It's 714-682. 
if, it, if it's something that you've got your eye on, I would not wait because we're gonna continue to give you up updates about how many we have remaining. Let's take a look at this one. It's the 1888, uh, oh, that's the New Orleans Mint. Um, Mint State 63 Morgan Silver Dollar, Great Southern Hoard. Okay, now this, once again, the only reason I have this, I've been, we've been working on this for months. Uh, when you see this, the, the Great Southern Treasury Hoard right here, uh, uh, way back in the day, uh, 50 years ago plus, the United States Mint sold a bunch of coins that they had in their vaults. And there was a, a, a family that, uh, you know, the older, the patriarch of the family had kind of lived through the Depression, yeah. and he was a silver and gold guy. Yeah. So he bought tens of thousands of American silver dollars, primarily from the New Orleans Mint, and put them away. Mm -hmm. He always felt that he should uh, 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 keep these coins, keep gold and silver. And that has been the basis of, of kind of their family's, uh, uh, you know, investments and value and everything for decades and decades and decades. And that they said that they would never sell them. And then they decided they were going to sell some of the silver dollars because they wanted gold. So they had lots of silver and they wanted to, to rotate into gold. And so they sold a, they sold 13,000 oh New Orleans minted Morgan silver dollars in, in a one-time transaction to get this gold. And out of this, we picked, and what we were trying to do is get the very best coins out of the hoard. And, and, and we got to pick dates. And so the date that I picked was the 1888. It's one of my favorite, my, my favorite coins. And the reason is, is it's the three eights, so it's 1888, which by itself has this great connotation as a very, very difficult coin to get. But then you also added the O for the New Orleans Mint over here. But if you look at this between the D and the O in dollar, you'll see the O that's over here. So you have an 1888 New Orleans minted American silver dollar, but it's in mint state 63, which is brilliant uncirculated condition. The New Orleans mint, by the time they got to the 1880s, it had been in operation for decades and decades and decades, and it, it had the worst of the equipment. It was kind of falling apart. It was not the, the best that the United States Mint had to offer. Mm -hmm. So high grade New Orleans minted uh, silver dollars are very difficult to get. And 1888 is a particularly difficult year. Okay. In Mint State 63 or better, I think there's only 20,000 coins in existence in Mint State 63 or better in 1888. If you look at like, let's say in 1883, I think there's 100,000 coins just in 1883, just in Mint State 63s. So this coin is significantly rare from that standpoint. The other thing is, is it comes from this hoard, and that's the designation. So provenance, in other words, where a coin comes from is also important. Some of the great hoards in the past, you had the Binion hoard from the Binion Casino that you had right there. You had the great Redfield hoard of silver, uh, dollar, same guy. He would buy bags of silver dollars and literally just throw them into his basement. Oh uh, that's right. For years and years and years and years, he did this. Yeah. And when they originally, they came back out and they went to thing, he, uh, they were um, in his uh, kind of root cellar and they had a bunch of jars of old fruit in there and the peaches <laughs> exploded. There was peach juice. And so you could see some of the dollars had this peach juice stain on it. Oh so in the, uh, in the Redfield hoard, yeah, very, very cool stuff. So this is another one of those kind of great Western hoards, this great Southern treasury hoard that we have here. So the provenance, where it comes from is very important. And the fact that it's incredibly high grade in Min State 63, it's a great year in terms of 1888. You have the New Orleans mint as well. So you put all of these things together and what you have is, of course, collectability. Uh, and, and particularly in a, in a day and time now, well, like I said, gold and silver <coughs> are tremendously difficult to get. Gold and silver are tremendously sought after in, in the marketplace today. Like I said, go try to find anybody that has literally what we call live coins. Coins in hand, ready to sell. I don't care if it's American Silver Eagles. I mean, you can go to the biggest bullion guys on the planet. They do not have 2020 American Silver Eagles. They are sold out. It is, they're they're out. 
let alone 140 year old, you know, 130 year old uh, uh, American silver dollars out of this great uh, Southern Treasury hoard in Mint State 63. I've got a very limited quantity of these as well. Look at that, absolutely stunning and beautiful that you're going to have right there. Uh, uh, because in uncirculated, <clears throat> you're looking at Mint State 60. Min State 62 is, is choice uncirculated, but by, by the time you get to Min State 63, you have brilliant uncirculated, what we call a true BU or brilliant uncirculated dollar. And from the New Orleans Mint, they are exceptionally rare. Now add in the date, 1888 oh, always extra special and more desirable. And then the great Southern Treasury hoard. So now you add in the provenance with that. All of those things together make this such an amazing collectible, clearly limited. Uh, uh, for us to be able to do this, and I'm real happy to be able to bring the price 179.95. If you look out there and try to find these, you're looking at probably 200, 250, 300. Uh, yes. If you can even find these in the from the Great Treasury Hoard. I'm glad that we've got them for you, and it's new to us. Uh, giving you an opportunity to, to pick it up at a really great price comparatively. And if you, uh, this one is on FlexPay, if you choose to use FlexPay, but um, if you want one or a few, up to you until they're gone. This is 714-685. That's the number to get this one home. And remember, this one is 1888. And um, I love hearing the story behind it. You may, this is something you may be familiar with as well. So now we've got them, remember, live coins in hand that you order them today, we send them right out to you right away. So your brand new coin, or it's new, but it's 1888. It's 132 <laughs> years old, new but it's new. <laughs> um, and it's coming out, right on out to you. Just let us know. All right. Uh, I wanted to share this with you as well, because a lot of you do like to uh, shop with us on hsn.com. And what we did on hsn.com is put together a list called our home checklist. And because now more than ever, we want you to have what you need in hand. And so with that, and we want to make it a little bit easier. So whether it is cleaning products, maybe personal care items, cooking, home gym, home entertainment, maybe it's home office because you are are working from home and you need some things. We've got it for you right there on that home checklist and we will ship everything you see there. We will ship it to you for free. So uh, we'll give you a chance to check that out on hsn.com. We're gonna take a break, give you a chance to order anything you've seen thus far and stay with us in Coin Collector. Never run out of the things you love with AutoShip at HSN. Receive your favorite items with automatic deliveries and easily customize your shipping preferences. Plus, AutoShip locks in your order price while enrolled. It's the smartest way to get more of a good thing. Search AutoShip on HSN.com. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. HSN, and this is two hours of Coin Collector. I'm glad that you're here. I'm Tamara Hooks. I'm your host. Mike Muzak is our numismatist, and he's joining us as well. And, okay, you see that we have a, a big setup because we've got a big set for you. The 1999 to 2009 state quarter proof sets, all of them. You're not choosing which year you want. You're getting them all. You'll notice our regular HSN price is typically $200 more. We took $200 off, you still get every year, and Mike, this is a great set. Well, you know, the United States, the United States government really, for a long time in like kind of the 80s and 90s, they were, they were awful, <laughs> just awful. <laughs> I mean, they just didn't do anything new. It was boring. I mean, you know, they started doing a few kind of cool things, and it was just like a snooze fest. And it was just me and a bunch of coin geeks like me. We're the only people that cared. And then in 1999, they started the state quarters. 
and it has been on fire ever since. I love it. The state quarters, I mean, you know, every single state in the Union uh, depicted on the back of the venerable Washington quarter, each one made for 10 weeks and 10 weeks only, then becoming a sold out limited edition. That was the uncirculated version. And then of course they did the proof versions that you see right here that only came in here. It was the only way to get San Francisco minted coins. And they did those from 1999 through uh, obviously 2009, all 50 states, and then the six United States territories and protectorates. So it was cool, and and I mean it was crazy. It was crazy uh, out there. I remember when we first came out with the Delaware quarter uh, uh, had it here. I think what we had like ten thousand in the system, and, and when the show came up, uh, we thought there was a glitch in the system because they were all they'd already been pre-ordered. Ten thousand pre-ordered on on the, on the Delaware quarter. Yeah, it was crazy. So anyway. <laughs> so what we were able to do is go back in time because there's some people that didn't quite finish their collection. Mm -hmm. And the rarest of the bunch are the proof coins. Because remember, a, a proof is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. Uh, the United States government makes proof coins differently. They're, these are the special presentation coins made by the United States government expressly and exclusively uh, uh, for collectors. And so this is the only way to get these San Francisco mini coins. Well, they did the uh, state quarters. But they put them in the regular issue proof sets. And so what I have here are the complete proof sets. So now there was a day I sold just the quarter part of this yes. for $449 in a little Red Oak presentation oh, box. Oh my gosh. But, you know, it, it's not, it's still, I think, $299 or something just for the quarter side of this. Yeah. So for me to be able to do this, and, and, and people go, well, how can you take $200 off? How can you sell this for literally less than the original issue price from the United States Mint. I'm charging you less than the Mint charged you in 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002. And how can you do that? And it's Silver Eagles. Everybody wants to sell their stuff, dealers, because they have to have Silver Eagles. And I say, well, I'll take proof sets if they're a good enough bargain and value, and my goodness, they are. <laughs> so what you're looking at here is you get 11 sets, okay? You get 11 sets because you're going to get 99 through 2009, that's contiguous, so that's 11 sets mm -hmm. uh, is what you get. So you're paying about $27 a set okay. is what you're looking at. I wanna, I wanna show you, so you get to buy these in essence like a coin. So here's the 2009. I wanna go down here. This is the largest proof set ever made by the United States government. And that set for $27 is all four of these lenses. Okay, I want to do something here because I have the coin by coin total here. So for 2019, first of all, you start right over here. That's the penny. So that was the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln Sense. So they did this special penny collection. Those coins right there, let me flip those back just a little bit, sell for $13.95 a piece. My goodness. For every one of those. If you go right next door to that, you've got all the all the uh, uh, the proof quarters from there. Those are seven dollars a piece. These right here are six and a half dollars a piece. These are very you know you know put all these things together. At the end of the day, it's a hundred and fifty dollars for the for the two thousand and nine set. Now remember, you're paying two ninety nine for all of it. Yeah. If we go back to the 2008 set, which is right here, that's the rarest of the bunch. See these quarters right here? Remember, you're paying $27 for the set. 1850, 1850, 1850, 1850, and $25. Wow. These are 18, uh, these coins are $10.5 a piece. And these coins right here, I mean, that coin's, I think, $57 is what you're looking at uh, uh, for that right there with the half dollar, dollars $45.50. $240 for the 2008 set. So you're $400 for the 2008 and the 2009. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take $100 off the last two sets yeah. and insist you take the other, <laughs> the, the other nine. Oh okay, which are like, and the 2007 set, it's no slouch at $92.95. I mean, you know, the 2004 set is 80. Uh, let's put it this way. I did, I did the math coin by coin. It's over a thousand bucks. My goodness. Coin by coin, if you would buy these coins individually, over $1,000, yeah. we have it at $299.95. What I call this is buying like a coin dealer. That's right. And that's why you don't see these sets made available. Because it's so easy to just break them up right. and sell them. And sell them for more. Because the coins aren't available 
any place else. These coins only come in these proof sets. Not a single solitary one of these coins was ever made, intended, or released into circulation. So if you take a look at, for instance, the uh, uh, the dollar coins in here, you're looking at just the dollar coins because you have the presidential dollars and then all the Sacagawea golden dollars in there. Okay. It's about $250 just for these little Sacagawea golden dollars that are coming in these oh sets. You're paying $299 for all of it. The half dollars, uh, the quarters in here, like I said, coin by coin, the quarters are $356. The half dollars are almost $200 on a coin by coin basis. I mean, this one half dollar here is 50 bucks oh on a coin by coin basis. You're paying, and I'm trying to say, uh, you have 128 coins here, so you're paying two and a half dollars a coin. Unreal, instead of 50, Instead of, I mean, 18, I mean, think about that. You're getting the entire collection. It's all done. We'll send it straight to you. We took $200 off. It's almost half off of our price, which coin by coin, even our original price was still half off what you would have paid. Right. It's crazy. Now, um, now, I would argue that in the original government packaging, they're worth even more uh, than the coin by coin price. Because the coin by coin price generally is there's something wrong with the set. One of the coins there's something wrong with, which is what creates the ability to get the set to be able to put that out there. And so for us to be able to get every single one of the sets with the original boxes, with the original certificates of authenticity, starting in 1999, I I used to sell this set for $299, just the 1999s. And the only reason I was able to put this, this run together is there was a dealer, a friend of mine, who had a fair number of these sets that he'd put together over about a year or so, but he had to have some Silver Eagles. He had to have 2020 Silver Eagles, because you know, with the last year of issue, they were already on fire before the mint ran out, okay? And so he sold me a fair number of these. I think it was a couple of hundred sets. I had 200, 250 of these sets uh, of, all, of, the, of every single solitary one. Them. So understand, you get all 11 sets for $299.95. I think the original mint price was $29.95 plus $5 shipping and handling. So if you would have bought them from the mint, right. it would have cost you $400. <laughs> If you would have bought them as they came out in 99, 2000, 2000, it's like going back in like a numismatic time capsule and being able to get all your coins at a significant friends and family discount in the day, let alone going fast forward where these coins, like I said, the 2008 set alone, that's the key to the collection. $250 just for that one set, coin by coin. This lens right here is 100 bucks. This lens right here is 100 bucks. I mean, this is a $45.50 coin. I think that Sacagawea golden dollar, what is that? That Sacagawea golden dollar is 20 bucks. That's $65 right there. Just those two? Just those two coins are $65. The Lincoln cent in there, by the way, $17.50. <laughs> oh this goodness. coin right here is $17.50. Wow. So, I mean, you know, that's why that set's $250. So, basically, the price of the entire collection is just about contained within the 2008 on a coin-by-coin -coin basis is what you're looking at uh, uh, with that. Uh, but, I, like I said, I'm going to insist that you take the other 10 sets. <laughs> I, I tell you, it's crazy because as you go coin by coin, it just keeps adding up and adding up, but our price is subtracting. Right. <laughs> it's subtracting. Um, it's, we took $200 off of our regular price, which was still about half of what you would have paid if you were going to go out and find these. But we've got them for you um, still at that sale price. I don't know how long that's going to go on. Um, I don't know if it's until they sell out or if it's just a limited amount of time. All I know is today. And today you've got all of the sets, every set that you see here, every single one for $299.95, order it. And, we, and these are live coins. We have them in hand. We will send them right on out to you. So you're gonna have these, this exact set in your home very soon. Call us or let us know, or, or I should say call us or shop on hsn.com and mm -hmm. let us know that you want them and we'll send them straight out. And, and one thing I want to say, we kind of hide them in the boxes, but they all come with all the uh, uh, original mint certificates of authenticity. So there's the mint certificate of authenticity, which tells you all the coins in the proof set, who designed them, the front, the back, the mint. Of course, they're all made at the San Francisco Mint. So it says who it is and so on and so forth, the size, the weight, everything involved with that and with the facsimile signature of 
of the uh, uh, of the director of the Mint. Jay Johnson was uh, the director of the Mint in 19 uh, in 2001 that you see right there. So just I mean you know and that's part and parcel of it as well. I'm going to put those back up there. We kind of leave those you know kind of leave those in here. We don't always get to put these up on the big wall. Sometimes we got to you know try to put them on yeah. all the stands. So we finally get kind of the full vision, the full view of what you're actually getting in here. You get all 56 of the state quarters. Now, do not confuse these coins, please, please, please. Do not confuse these coins with what are called the business strike coins. Those are the coins that came out that you get at the bank of the post office. These okay. are the special proof coins. They only come in these sets. It is the only place to get them. <clears throat> They're anywhere on the order of 30 to 100 times rarer than the regular uncirculated coins. These coins are struck multiple times at higher pressure to give you this fantastic opportunity to get a presentation coin made by the United States Mint in the original packaging with the original certificate of authenticity, just like they were released from the Mint. As a matter of fact, up to 20 years ago now, we're over, we're 20 years since, uh, mm -hmm. that's how long, uh, that's how oh long gosh. I've been selling, yeah, I've been selling the things a long time. Time is flying, I mm -hmm. tell you. Um, I know that our, and speaking of time is flying, I know that our clock is gone. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do have to wrap this one up, but here's the, that item number once again. Don't forget it. It's 117014. That's the number to get all of the sets from 1999 to 2009. All of those home to you for $200 off. Let me show you what's coming up in our next hour. This one is the 1921 uncirculated last Morgan silver dollars. And you're getting the set that you see right there. Again, a sale price. This time we took $80 off. So not a, not 200, but $80 off on that set. And we're gonna give you all of the details and break down the story there. But that one is coming up starting uh, in our next hour, which remember this is two hours of Coin Collector uh, for to wrap up our month of March here at HSN. Okay, I wanna share this with you. As a $2 bill collector, mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited about this one. I had to kind of inch over a little bit because I had to see them. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see the complete Federal Reserve 1976 Bicentennial $2 bill collection. And we've got this one for you. It is a customer pick, so if you wanna read the reviews of folks who've already have it, have already collected it and love it, please do. It is um, $179.95. And Mike, I'm really excited about this. Well, the United States government releases currency through the Federal Reserve System. There are 12 Federal Reserve banks spaced throughout the United States, from Boston and New York all the way on over to San Francisco. All, all the way. And, and each one of them has a number designation that you see right here. So here's one, two, three, four, five, ah, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They also have corresponding letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way up to 12. Uh, there you go, uh, there's, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that, that, that's all part of this as well. Mm -hmm. So if you get in there, you can see, we have another, uh, another uh, display coming up here, mm -hmm. where it shows you the different, uh, uh, the different Federal Reserve districts, what they're called, they're called districts in, in paper currency. Okay. These are the original 1976 $2 bills. It is the complete Federal Reserve District set, all 12 notes in gem crisp uncirculated condition in the custom folder that you see right here. There are some of them that we, we see quite often, like the Boston and New York notes we see out there uh, uh, fairly often. What you don't tend to see are the Cleveland notes. What you don't tend to see are some of the, like the Minneapolis note, as a matter of fact. You see a lot of Chicago's out there. So they're not released in equal numbers. So to get the entire district set is a very, very, very big deal. Particularly, now that you understand, these are 19 so these are the bicentennial okay. notes that are in here. As a matter of fact, let me get in here. I want to grab one of these notes. As a matter of fact, I think I can get in this one right okay. here. It's kind of in there. Double. <laughs> I got it. There. Yeah. 
That is the original, and look at these. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I like it that. that is the original painting, John Trumbull's painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which hangs in the Yale University Library uh, that you're going to have right there. One of the great, most uh, iconic American scenes, and that is, like I said, and they are gem crisp that you're going to do with this. I'm gonna put those right down there. I'm gonna flip this over here because we're also, uh, I can see that. And then if we can go to the middle, uh, the, the, the middle thing right there that we just put out. Here are all the Federal Reserves. Now, everybody gets, okay, that you're gonna have Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Cleveland, but Richmond wow. is actually, and that's a rare note as well. Atlanta, Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Kansas, Kansas City, very difficult note to get. Probably the two most difficult ones are Richmond and Kansas City, I would say out of that, but you get the entire collection of 12 notes within this, one from every single solitary district of the original, like I said, 1976, $2 bill. That's the thing I think that's truly amazing in here. It's a customer pick. I think, yes, if is. I'm not mistaken, and double check me on this, I think it's the first time I've had it available this year. Wow, okay. This year for us to be able to put these together. I was out of Richmond notes, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So you have to buy, we have to buy packs of 100, the original notes right. that come in here because they are gem, gem, gem crisp. Uh, 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 you know, with this, our social distancing, normally I would give you a note for you to, yes. to see, but now that uh, I've touched it, you can't do that. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, but, uh, and this is our sample set. So all of these have been encased. And like I said, we use gloves and, and everything anyway. And, and okay. what we've always been able to do with this customer pick, the entire 12 note set, you get every single one of these. It comes in the custom album that you see right here. So you can see, you get all of these. You get 12 original gem crisp uncirculated $2 notes, 1976 $2 notes, one from every one of the 12 Federal Reserve districts. Like I said, A through L, if you will, one through